Hey, look who's here, Putty. My Putty? But we broke up. And yet he continues to live. <laughs> hey, Bennis. How are you? I'm doing great. Great. See ya. Well, that's it. You two are back together. What? The bump into. The bump into always leads to the backslide. David and I will not be getting back together. Elaine, breaking up is like knocking over a Coke machine. You can't do it in one push. You gotta rock it back and forth a few times, and then it goes over. That's beautiful. How do you feel? Fine. Something the matter? No. And what is it? No, nothing. Hi. I was with David Putty last night. Yeah, so? He did the move. What move? You know, the move. Wait a second, my move? David Putty used my move? Yes, yes. Are you sure? Jerry, there is no confusing that move with any other move. I can't believe it. He stole my move. Oh, God. Did... Oh, yes, yes. Oh, I'm sorry. What? I can't do the move. What? what? Oh, he's ruined it for me. Oh, oh come on, please. No, he called me a hack. He's not into doing it anymore. Oh, so, so that's it? I'll come up with some new stuff. Okay, so how long have you been a Devils fan? Oh, since I was a kid. I'm from Jersey. Yeah? Well, we're gonna kick your butts tonight. Hey, no way, man. Yes. We're primed. <laughs> All right, you almost ready? Because Jerry and Kramer are going to be here any second. <laughs> what the? So what do you think? What is that? I painted my face. You painted your face? Yeah. Why? Well, you know, support the team. Well, you can't walk around like that. Well, why not? Because... It's insane. Oh, hey, you gotta let them know you're out there. This is the playoffs. Yeah. Hey. Hi. Dave's, um, painted his face. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's cool. Well, you gotta support your team, huh? Okay, ready to go? Yeah. Let's get it on! Hey, great dip. You make this? No, it's from the store. Oh. Hey, how come people don't have dip for dinner? Why is it only a snack? Why can't it be a meal, you know? <laughs> I don't understand stuff like that. <laughs> David? David, I think we ought to talk. All right, that's cool. David, I don't think we should see each other anymore. You gotta be kidding. How come? <laughs> well, you see, David, you're a face painter. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> well, it's, it's not that I don't like you, but, um, well, to be perfectly honest, I'm just having some trouble getting past the face painting. Well, all right, so you don't like the face painting. I just won't paint it anymore. But you like the face painting. Well, I don't need to do it. It's not like I have it or anything. Oh. You mean you'd, you'd stop it for me? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's so... Uh, that's so sweet. Uh, come here. All right, I gotta go home and get changed before the game. I'll be back. We'll make out. What is that? That's yeah, the letter D. Why is the letter D painted on your chest? 
You know, I'm going to the game tonight, and me and these five other guys are going to take our shirts off and spell out devils. But you said no more painting. Oh, I said no more face painting. And as you can see, this is not my face. Yeah, that's right. Well, let's see. I've got a 10 kroner, a 5 kroner, a 20 kroner. No, wait. That's another 10 kroner. <laughs> Empty kroner. How much is that? We have to break up. What? I can't take this anymore. I don't want to hear how interesting the change with the hole in it is. And if you tell me what time it is in New York again, you are going home in a body bag. Well, what about you? What do you think the gap in Rome has? It's not in the gap on Broadway. Okay, all right, listen. Forget about the gap because we are through. Fine. Fine! Okay, terminus re. Have a nice flight. Ladies and gentlemen, our flight time with stopovers will be approximately 22 hours. Hey, you gonna bust out that drink cart or what? You know, I think ultimately I'm upset with myself. I knew what I was getting into. She's a bitter, unstable person. I mean, the sex was good. I'm sure it was fine for her. But I need more. Hey, you believe in this? Excuse me, I, I was I was sleeping. Well, you missed quite a performance. That's my apple juice. <laughs> this is the Fenty Kroner. Oh. You know, my last boyfriend, he had a real Kroner comprehension problem. You know what I mean? A real cement head. <laughs> David, you are so funny. Yeah, I know. What are you doing? It's a long flight, Elaine. I had to get on with my life. By making time with some floozy across the aisle? Yeah, that's right. Well, what's going on over there with you and uh, vegetable lasagna? This guy? Oh, he's an idiot. He doesn't mean anything to me. I can hear you. Well, she doesn't mean anything to me either. If we're up to me, we'd still be together. Well, maybe I feel the same way. Okay. Okay, so now what? Let's make out. I can't believe we broke up like that. It was stupid. <laughs> you want something to read? No, I'm good. Are you going to take a nap? Or... No. You're just going to sit there, staring at the back of the seat? Oh, tell me about it. I don't know why I ever took you back. Oh, please. I took you back. You know it. I know it. Vegetable lasagna here knows it. Please, please. I don't want to get involved. Oh. I hope a giant mountain rises out of the ocean and we just ram right into it and end this whole thing. Oh, God. Ow. Ow. Not calling Putty. Hmm. What did I do with my gloves? Oh, I bet I left him over at Putty's. I should call him. I need those gloves. No, I better not. I'll call him. <laughs> oh, look at that. There are the gloves. I was just about to call. <laughs> there they are. That's funny. <laughs> That's really funny. That is really, really funny. <laughs> you know who loves funny stories? David Putty. So the gloves were right by the phone. That is pretty funny. You see, I mean, this is what Jerry doesn't understand. We can see each other. We can see each other every day, but it doesn't mean we're back together. No, I mean, I love just seeing you and having sex. Yeah. <laughs> Not having to do all that, uh, you know, work. Well, either way. Oh, calling you and buying you stuff. David. It's hearing about how everyone at work isn't as smart as you. It's brutal. <laughs> all right, that's it. We're back together. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Look, Elaine, be reasonable. Get those clothes off. You're spending the night and we're gonna cuddle. What? You heard me strip. Hey, you wanna split a Reuben? I don't think so, David. We're through. Oh. That's a nice sweater. 
Oh, that was a doozy. David, I know this hurts, but it's the way it has to be. Listen, David, I've got to run. Can you lend me 50 bucks? This is the best okra you've ever had or what? Mm. Delish. Delish? Delish. You know, short for delicious. Oh, like scrump. Yeah. Better be late. I'll see you later. Excuse me, can I borrow your ketchup? Oh, sure. Thanks. You dumped me for some idiotic TV pitch man. I'm sorry, buddy. It, it was a mistake. So let's just let's just put it behind us and we can continue as if this never happened. Jeez, I don't know. What if we're out somewhere and you see the Maytag repairman? <laughs> You're not taking me back. That's right. Elaine, it was very nice of you to bring the man you're currently sleeping with over here to talk to me, but I assure you, I don't have any problem with germs. Don't you, Elaine? Oh, please! I know it looks bleak. I've been there. Ten years ago, waking up in bed next to a woman like this would have sent me running for the FISA heads. Really? I still have trouble looking at those disgusting old bedroom slippers she slobs around. Hey! had those since college. They're bunnies. They're bacteria traps. <laughs> so you just learn to live with it? For the most part. Okay. We're broken up for the rest of the day. Paper jam. Got it. Yay. High five. <laughs> On the flip side. David, um, I... Don't leave me hanging. You're a salesman now. The high five is... It's very grease monkey. What did I tell you about that? I, I'm sorry, but the high five is just so stupid. Oh, yeah? I'll tell you what's stupid. You, stupid. <laughs> oh, that is really mature. Yeah? So are you. You're the grease monkey. Uh, that doesn't make any sense. I am leaving. Yeah, if you leave, we're through. Fine, we're through. Oh, so you're leaving. That's right. High five. On the flip side. All right, Elaine, David, I believe we have a deal here in principle. Arby's no more than once a month. And in exchange, Elaine comes to your softball game and doesn't read a book. Well, that's not bad. I can live with that. So you're back together? Yeah. Feels like an Arby's night. Arby's beef and cheese and... Do you believe in God? Yes. Oh. So, you're pretty religious. I try. So, is it a problem that I'm not really religious? Not for me. Why not? I'm not the one going to hell. Well, and they forgot to deliver your paper today. Why don't you, uh, just grab that one? That belongs to Mr. Potato Guy. That's his. Come on, I get it. Well, if you want it, you get it. Sorry, thou shalt not steal. Oh, but it's okay for me. Oh, what do you care? You know where you're going. All right, that is it. I can't live like this. Oh, no. Come on. All right, what did I do? David, I'm going to hell. The worst place in the world. With devils and those those caves and and the ragged clothing. And the heat, my God, the heat. But what do you think about all that? It's gonna be rough. <laughs> you should be trying to save me. Don't boss me. This is why you're going to hell. I am not going to hell. And if you think I'm going to hell, you should care that I'm going to hell, even though I am not. You stole my Jesus fish, didn't you? Yeah, that's right. <laughs>